right, so tickets acquired. We are going to HHN 31 tonight. So we just bought our tickets. Um, we were gonna wait and try to go for the very last annual pass holder free ticket night, which would be October 2nd. Um, and then also we don't have any family here to watch our kids. So we have to be like picky when we go. So we actually have someone watching our kids tonight. So we're gonna go tonight as well. So tonight and um, tomorrow, which is the last pass holder day that goes along with your annual pass to get to HHN. And so now we wanted to get a bite to eat before we go inside the park. We're here at, uh, it has been the bow. And this is the food that we got. Here's our food. So I got the kimchi. We got the, I believe this is the pork belly. And then Brandon got the beef and the crab cake over here. So it all looks delicious. They are really small though. I mean like little, little tiny ones. So a couple of bites and it's done. And this is 11, yeah, 11.99 for two. Stop by Menchie's and got some ice cream. Look, before headed in the park, look, I got Dole Whip as well as like blueberry pomegranate that's purple and some Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Cause I'm a kid at heart tonight. What'd you get? I got um, chocolate chip cookie dough with um, chocolate ice cream and uh, cheesecake, New York cheesecake ice cream with cheesecake bites and Reese's peanut butter sauce. Yum! We are now in line. Super excited. We did the stay and scream over at the Simpsons area and got right in line for the weekend. They let us through at 5.30 and now we're just walking in line. <sighs> All right, we got through our first house the weekend. It was awesome. It was very dark inside. Couldn't see anything. I have to keep putting my hands in front of me. Keep bumping into the person in front of me too. Um, couldn't see anything. And that's what made it scary. Cause I was like, oh my goodness. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. And then I think even like one of the cast members had to like go this way. <laughs> they had to tell me, can't see nothing. And at the first there is like a whole bunch of neon lights all lit up around you, but it's not like lit up room. It's like lines of them but it was very fun and then the mirror room was pretty amazing and pretty scary as well do you think that mirror part the mirror part was kind of scary yeah. i kept thinking that somebody was kind of come out of the mirrors but they didn't but there was a very end room where there was everybody all wrapped up in white with blood there was a couple real people a couple you know just mummies there that was scary. They did get me there. Uh, the bus at the end came out. Like it's gonna run you over too. That was scary. Um, that got me. So I did get a couple of good jump scares in that house. Uh, that was a really good one for our first one here at HHN 31. Oh my goodness, y'all. We just got in line. We kept walking and walking and walking. We're going straight in. No wait. Going in to see Universal Monsters Legends Collide right now. All right, so we just came out of Monsters Collide. It was like a complete walk on. Just walked all the way back here, went through the house, didn't wait at all. But now we're done. Uh, so that house. I did get some jump scares. With it being called Universal Monsters with like the mummy, the wolfman, the vampire. I don't think I saw a single vampire in there, did you? No, I didn't see a single vampire. I did see the Wolfman maybe twice, and then the whole rest of the thing was the mummy, like all of it. The mummy, Egyptians, like we were in a crypt, walking through the little walkways and tunnels through like concrete walls. That was basically just a mummy house. Here's the wait time. But how low they are. Everything's like 20, 25, 10 for Bugs Eat Alive, Halloween's 35, 5, 15, 10, 15, but it was a walk-on. Like literally we just right. walked straight through that one. And there is no wait. Even though it says 35 minutes, there was no one in line back there. And then 25 for Hill House. We just did a Descendants of Destruction again, another walk-on. And it was really good. Um, I feel like the other ones were a little bit more scary, but it was still fun to go through this house. 
Um, it had a lot of like glow in the dark scenes this time. A lot of glow in the dark characters that were coming out at you too. That was fun. Um, I feel like, yeah, I don't feel like it was as scary as the other ones. What do you think? That was pretty good. Yeah? It definitely have a lot of scare actors in there. Did it? Yeah. yeah. All of them have so far. So far, we've been through three houses. So this is my number three. Weekend is number two. Number one, the second house that we actually went through. What was it called? Uh, Universal Monsters. Universal Monsters. We're getting in line for house number four, and it's still daylight out. I don't even know what time it is. Well, let's stop the clock and check that. It's almost seven, 6.51. Getting in line for house number four. This is the one that I have anticipated to be the best, is the Bugs house. And I think it's gonna be the best for me because I don't like bugs. They're creepy, they're crawly. And so that's why I'm anticipating this to be the scariest one for me. It said a 10 minute wait when we were coming into the line. So let's see if it's just a walk on, just like the other ones. All right, so I just wanted to add in that we are doing these standby waits today. We did not get Express. Express was actually sold out for tonight. So we're just doing standby. And so far, so good. Um, we haven't really needed it so far. I know it gets scarier as the night goes on. We haven't done any of the little on a trails yet so the scare zones we haven't done any of those yet getting trying to get these houses knocked out gonna go through our first Meat, meat. We'll see it during the day. Now we need 
to Meats Locker. So they do have a line over here that you can grab some meat. Let's go inside. Meats Locker. Oh yeah, these are the beating parts. <laughs> Spoiled, angry, bear meat, sour beating gummy heart. There's our, our children's friend over there. <laughs> And then you just leave. We are now in line for the chup chupacabra. And I'm very excited that we were able to ride the mummy. I love it so much. I haven't ridden it since it has reopened because I did try one time and I was next in line to get on. Broke down. So I haven't been able to get on it yet. But it was really fun. I'm really glad I was able to ride it tonight. And it said like a 75 minute wait too, but I think we only made it, waited like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. So, now we're in line for this one, and it says about a 40 minute wait. So, we'll see how long we wait in line for this one. And then after this, I'm also very excited to do the Dimmons here, because I heard it was really great. So, so far, my favorite house has been the Bugs one. I love that one so much. It was so neat to go through. My favorite one. So, let me in the comments know which one you enjoyed the best if you have come here at HE1031. We just came out of the Chupacabra and it was amazing. I actually really enjoyed that house. Um, I have heard like reviews from other people that said it was their least favorite, but I really enjoyed walking through that house. It had some at least two giant you would cover of it's like coming out right at you. I love that. That was awesome. And I really enjoyed that house. I liked it. Um, we really did wait like 35 minutes and it was a 40 minute wait. And then now it's a, it's a 30, uh, 35 minute wait now as well. But it was really great. Um, Deadman's here is a 65 minute wait right now. So we're gonna walk down here and check on the wait times for the other houses to see which one we're gonna do next. Going into the Nettlewood Cemetery. Ooh. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I'm afraid it just 
got scared. That was fun. I like that scare zone. Did you like that scare zone? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yes, I love that one. And the lighting makes it look like lightning coming off. Um, that's just the light. That's fun. That's really cool. Like a cemetery and a lightning storm. But I like that scare zone. And now we're going to go back up through the here through the first care zone that we've never gone to yet. And the one with pumpkins, the pumpkin board. So, let's go through there now. Oh, that is so cool. Of this night, here it is. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And then there's still one more scare zone that we haven't even gone through yet. 
So, we're gonna go do some stairs for this and then we only have two more houses left until we've done everything. So, that's exciting. Over here we have Mel's die. It's supposed to light up and say Mel's die in. But I don't know if it has some um, some damage due to the hurricane that came through or or if it's just the light bulbs that went out. Alright, so this is our last scare zone that we have yet to go through. I'm excited about this one. Oh look, there's a bunch of people in here right now, but there's like a scarecrow. Going in the fire. of a girl playing a violin and then as you went through there was also like a giant giant set of like a ship with a girl actually playing a violin it was really really neat and the lights were flashing and made it look like lightning kind of felt like the ship was moving it was really really cool but now we just stepped in line for our very last house of the night Halloween last house of the night and it is a 65 minute wait. So this is going to be the longest wait. We've been putting it off because we thought maybe it'll go shorter. Nope, it's our last house so now we have to do the waiting 65 minutes. So we'll see if we actually wait 65 minutes here or not. But it's our last house tonight and it's not even midnight yet so it might be like 11.30 or so but having a good time here. The last we went through was the Halloween house. It was really good. I have really enjoyed it. The first two rooms that were really scary. They just really need to walk through and see all the things in it from the movie. But it, the last room was the best. It was full of all kinds of Michael Myers everywhere. And he didn't know which one was a like, real person or not. So it was really fun to go through. But still, my number one house was the Bug House. Number two is the Dead Man's Pier. Brandon's number one was Dead Man's Pier. It was really neat to go through. We had a great time here at Halloween Horror Nights 31 at Universal Orlando. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
And now, it's your family time. Bye!